Hey, what's up guys? Systematic Psycho here, and we are back with another editor tutorial video, and this time we're going to be talking about triggers, and uh, just way different ways you can use them, because if I tell you what triggers do, you're probably going to have no idea what to do with them, but really quick, uh, I noticed somebody wanted to get into contact with me today, and, you know, they messaged me through YouTube, that's cool and all, but the best way to probably get a hold of me is through my Twitter, it's down in the freaking link if you want to stalk me, whatever, my Twitter for this YouTube account is there so yeah you'll see it you'll know what to do anyway so let's go ahead and get to the uh, the stuff here let's go ahead and get the triggers uh, see the best way I guess I'll just go ahead and place one down and kind of show you some of the functions of it and then we'll just get to some practical use of it uh, modules gonna be in the next episode there's no way I can fit modules and triggers in the same episode to be here all day but okay so we're gonna place this down you can either pick between the shape ellipse or rectangle. That's pretty explanatory. It's going to be in the shape of a rectangle or circle. Uh, you can basically pick the area of which this trigger is going to be. So that's 50. If you wanted to change this to 40, you'll see the difference here. Say it's more like an oval. But uh, we're going to leave that at 50 for right now. Timer is a countdown, so it's pretty much a delay. So once you're in the trigger, I'm guessing this is going to be the delay time for it to actually happen. So you make it a little more random. Uh, and then the name and the text, I'm not 100% sure what to do. The, the text might display something, I'm not sure. We'll, we'll just check it out. I'm, I'm not 100% clear on this whole Arma 3 editor thing, but I know pretty much enough. So we'll just go ahead and put trigger. Um, type. Alright, so here's the different kinds of trigger types you can do. Um, none, guarded by op 4, guarded by blue 4, guarded by independent. So I think this, you know, it's like pretty much like sector control kind of thing. Um, switch. This is going to switch. This is going to cause something to happen. And one, two, three, four. This is different kinds of ends. And this is lose. Activation. This is basically who's going to activate it. Op 4, Blue 4, Independent, Civilian, Game Logic, anybody. Radio Alpha. You can do different radio commands. So you can do it through the radio. Um, this is all the different radio things you can do. And then, uh, or it's seized by Op 4, Blue 4, or seized by Independent. Um, so you can have this happen once or repeatedly. And you're probably still kind of confused on what's going on here. Don't worry, I'm going I'm to explain as much as I can. Um, so, best way to do this would be um, if the op 4 is not present, something will happen. Uh, if the independent is present, if there's a, you know, somebody of the independent faction or the blue 4 faction is present, then it'll, it'll cause the, the uh, thing to happen once they're in this radius. Uh, and then, you know, same difference. It's detected by blue 4, detected by op 4. Then, yeah. So, that'll also cause the trigger to activate. Um, so, is what we're gonna do is we're just gonna leave this as an ellipse right here. 50 50. Same difference. Activation blue 4. So, it's gonna activate as soon as the blue 4 unit is present. So, that's what's gonna happen right there. And, uh,. Actually, I think you can, uh, this effects tab down here, you can, like, cause, like, a, uh, a soundtrack to play or some, you know, any of these things to, to play or whatever. So, uh, we'll just do, like, an air alarm so we know when we enter the trigger. Now, here's one way to use the trigger. We're gonna place, I'm gonna place just a little, I'm gonna place me real quick. And we're gonna place just a little group right here, a little fire team. Actually, wait. Hold on, hold on. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna show you the ambush technique here. It's probably the best. This is probably the most widely used thing for triggers right here. The ambush. It's probably the the coolest way too. So I'm just gonna go ahead and spawn me in with the squad. Uh, let's see. Let's do a weapons squad or something like that, and then I'll just make me the squad leader. Uh, player. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and set up. What would be something we could do here? Uh, just set up, a, I guess, a, a, a fire team over here, an op four fire team over here, and then just uh, I'm copy and paste it. So just Control C, oh, shift, shift click, Control C, and Control V. So Control C is to copy, and Control V is to paste. So there you go. There's that. I don't think they shouldn't be able to. Let's go ahead and put on textures. They should be behind the hill, I'm not 100% sure, so I'm going to move them back just a little bit there. Alright. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to give these guys waypoints. 
So each can you gotta give them a waypoint first to where they're gonna they're gonna be. So they're just gonna move right to where they are. Just a little a simple move waypoint. And then you're gonna give them a waypoint to attack, or just just a waypoint to a certain area. Because once they see you, they're gonna engage you anyway. So they're just gonna go to here. They're gonna I'm just gonna make it seek and destroy. So they're gonna search that area and try to kill whoever's in there. And uh, same difference over here. Just seek and destroy. But they're just gonna move to that waypoint. Now that waypoint, if I just tell them to go. But if I do this, this is the synchronized tool. This is you can't double click it, you can't place it or anything. It's only used for just things like uh, synchronizing. So if you synchronize with the trigger in their first waypoint, they're gonna hold at that waypoint until this trigger is activated. So you know, once a blue four is present in that trigger area, an air alarm will sound. Cut to of sound, and these guys will move from that waypoint to this waypoint. So uh, I think we're about set here and ready to go. And uh, I can show you what to do. I'll, actually, I'll hold. Hopefully, I don't freaking get engaged right away. But I'll hold here to show you that those enemies aren't going to come and attack me until I walk into that area and activate it. Oh, and uh, you're going to notice as soon as it boots up, I'm pretty sure it was like this in my last episode. All my HUD is black, and I'm almost unable to use it all. I tried reinstalling the game, didn't fix it. So I'm not 100% sure you can see. See how it says uh, my, you know, ammo count stuff at the top right corner. If you guys know what's going on there, please let me know. But I couldn't find anything on, like, any forums, especially because this game is really new. But, yeah, so if I hold here, I'm just going to go and fast forward time here. If I double, t if I tap the, uh, the plus button, it'll f multiply the time. And if I hit minus, it'll slow it down. But, yeah, so that off 4 would have been here probably by now. So is what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm gonna walk forward at a tactical pace until I get into the area. See, so yeah, I figured if I typed in trigger it would pop up, but I guess not. And then just just keep listening, and you uh, you should... There we go. There's, there it is. And we should be about to get engaged by all these guys. I'm probably going to die. Where are they at? Contact rifleman. Man, 100 meters northeast. Oh jeez. Okay. 100 meters northeast. That's my teammate. I shot him. I'm stupid. Contact, gun. Gun. See how intense the chicken get? Okay. Cover me. Holy crap. Man down. Hostile down. Move out. We got a man down. I have no idea if you guys can hear me. I can't tell how loud that is. So, sorry. Throw in fray. Throw in fray! Ooh, that wasn't good. That wasn't good. That was stupid. That was dumb. That was dumb. Okay. Covering! Go! Moving! Changing marks! Move up! Did you get him? Go! Covering! Go! Another way I just thought of is, you know, you, you can change it to the uh, to the detected by by op four thing, and you can have that alarm sound as soon as they're detected, and you're walking into maybe you're trying to sneak into like an enemy compound or something. That would be pretty damn cool. Okay, just so we keep it suppressed. Shit, there we go. Oh no, that's not what I wanted to do. Cancel action. Okay. There we go. Reloading. I'm trying to switch to my Badly pistol, hurt. maybe I can hit him better. But yep. So there we go. That's uh, that's one way you can use it. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the call and support option. Okay, another thing that I like go. to do. And uh, basically, what that does is it allows you to call and support via the radio. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete everybody, but everything but me. Gonna go ahead and place a new trigger. Right. I'm just does it actually? It does not matter where you place it. I just think you have to delete this, delete this, so it'll be zero. Um, don't mess with anything else. Just go to activation. You're gonna go down to radio alpha, and that basically means when you bring up your radio, you're gonna see a thing in there. This is gonna be the text that ap appears in the radio. So I'm just gonna call and make it helicopter support. So we're gonna call heli support, and then that's what's gonna be up in the radio. 
and then what we're gonna do is we are going to place let's say a helicopter just floating right out here uh, air uh, MH H9 and then yeah, not playable and then make sure he is flying and then there you go so he's gonna be out here I'm gonna create and use the waypoint tool I'm going to just double click his first waypoint to where he's gonna be probably the best way to do it is just to double click it on him and then so yeah that's gonna spawn on him he's gonna not move anywhere he's just gonna stay right where he is and then he's gonna come here and he's going to just he's just gonna move here this is probably be the just most practical way just to call an air support have him move or actually seek and destroy we'll do this legit seek and destroy and then um let's see it's at higher ground right there okay so I just want to go up here so I can see everything and then he would just once he seeks and destroys all that stuff and he's just gonna fall back oh that no not me him he's, gonna fall, he's just gonna fall back and then is what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna place a small little fire team and so they're gonna be there I'm gonna be over here just kind of watching the whole thing and uh, let me just move him a little bit farther oops is it shift yeah if you hit shift while aiming over something you can actually oops okay you know what? I'm just gonna you know, don't worry about me you can actually select the unit so if you put a waypoint on top of them and you're like oh I can't access that vehicle since I put a waypoint just hold down shift and then you can click on them and you can access them if you don't hold down shift you double click on this and you can edit the waypoint so he's gonna go over here he's gonna seek and destroy and uh, I think if I up the completion radius that might actually make him look in this whole area but I'm sure you'll see him anyway but we'll just do about 60 and then that should be that should be about it uh, but here's what we do now. So it doesn't matter where this trigger is at, as long as it's on the map. Uh, I'm going to use the synchronize tool, and I'm going to synchronize it to this waypoint. And then, so what that's going to do is, since it's he's, he's holding at that waypoint until he gets the radio alpha signal from me, which I'm going to show you how you call it in. And there's, you know, there's multiple different ways you can use this. Instead of helicopter support, you can have like a, an, uh, a friendly troop advance via the radio. And, uh... Yeah, just it's, it's really just once you kind of figure out what you can do with it, just putting your imagination to it. Uh, but we'll go ahead and uh, wait here and see what happens. Hopefully, I get a good view over the whole. Yep. Okay. There's there's the there's enemy troops out there, um, and then there's the helicopter. So see, he's just hovering there. So what I'm gonna do is I can either hit zero zero and I can hit enter and it's gonna call him in. You see, that's a teleport. Uh, or did I hit enter? Okay, so there. Or I think I can go on my map. Oh, okay, no, it's not like the other armor. I'm not sure how you access your radio normally. So we're just going to go ahead and zero zero, and we're going to hit enter. And that's basically going to use the radio alpha signal. And he's going to start heading over here. Apparently, those guys already see him. But hopefully, if he doesn't die, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can help him out a little bit, actually. Should be coming back around or something. Oh, where'd he went? Where'd he go? Oh, he started coming back around. I was like, what is he doing? I think he's just trying to get the advantage on him. What is he doing? Okay, maybe I did that wrong. Let's, um... Alright, so I probably cut back there somewhere maybe in the middle of my sentence. Um, yeah, so here's what I ended up doing. Hopefully this works this time. So I just did a simple seek and destroy right on the enemy unit. And, uh, yeah, so hopefully that works. And no, you know, radius, so he's not going around that radius. And this could be just a bug why it's not working, because I've never had this problem per se before. But let's, we'll, we'll see here. We'll see what happens. Let this load up. So, yep, just gonna hit 
Damn, I already shoot him. Zero, zero. In there so he doesn't get killed while he's out there. That's crazy. Alright, what's he gonna do? Is he gonna attack him? What's going on here? Okay, here he goes. Yes, no, maybe so. Yes. He, oh. Damn. Ah, uh, he wasn't playing. Uh. So yeah, that's how you get shit done. Uh, guys, if you like this video, um, like this video. Uh, comment if you got any questions. I'll try to help you out. Uh, any important stuff, anything, like I said, go to my Twitter. Peace out, guys.